Today we're making the... Stay tuned! <laughs> Welcome to Carbon Cocktails! This is Sunday Night Shooters. We're making the Falcon Punch. Ian Andrews, tell them what it is! Falcon Punch is one half ounce of coconut rum, one quarter ounce of 151, we're using Kari 151, quarter ounce of grenadine, we're gonna shake it up and strain and pour it in the shot glasses. Yep. We're gonna triple up. Uh, producer is... Aha! Oh, it's Someone I can't pronounce. Aha, <laughs> boy! So I'll let Derek mess it up. Yep, it's over your head now. It, you, you might be poking your eyes out over it. Maybe. Um, this drink, what was I going to do? Tell you what? I, I, All the rest of the stuff? Yeah, talk, talk about this thing. Let's so talk about it right now. Falcon Punch. Falcon, Captain Falcon. F-Zero character in um, uh, F-Zero for the Nintendo. I remember the yeah. SNES. I love the F-Zero. Oh, yeah. F-Zero, that was good. You know what was really cool? Even though it wasn't really happening, it felt like it. It was the, first, it was the first game that had, like, to me, that you go up and you can be on multiple levels. Ah! Like you went like it was it seemed fast. Yes, it, it was, was fast. fast game. Although nowhere in that game was there ever a Falcon Punch. That came out of Super Smash Brothers where he would do this and be like, I think he screamed Falcon, there was like fire and shit like that. And then since then, somehow it turned into a meme. Usually it's it involves somebody punching somebody, you take a, a slow-mo picture, or something that's not actually a punch, it looks like a punch. And I thought you were gonna punch me when we started the video, so. <laughs> That's the worst Falcon Punch ever. Yeah, so question of the day just came up before it scrolls away. Question of the day, what is your favorite shooter to drink? As opposed to pouring it, rubbing it on your chest, um, I don't know, to drink. Whatever else you might do with the shooter. That was the question of the day. Vic asks, what do you think? What's your favorite shooter? Um, personally, my favorite shooter is no shooter at all. <laughs> um, yeah. Back in college, shooters, I remember. back in college, brain, brain is pretty good. Yeah, it, brain was, it, it was the yeah, brain hemorrhages. Um, if you want to see what my college bar looked like, you can go to <laughs> facebook.com slash cocktail TV. Go ahead. Smiling face. If you go there, you will find in the photos section, because it's really, you don't want to follow the timeline, just click on the photos. Old school. Um, you can find my little bar. Oh, it's actually where I put my like glasses. The bubblegum, that must be good. The made the bazooka. We, we had one with bubblegum vodka. What are you doing? the junior mint shooter, that was pretty good. The bubblegum vodka, I'm not sure if the, that, that was a different one. Um, I don't know what ever happened to the, my three L's bubblegum. Bubble, I think it was called. I, gave bubble. Away. I don't know, what I give away bubble? I, I don't know. Uh, there's another one they, they put out that they stopped. Um, the the Swedish fish. Oh yeah. And yes. I, I kept that because you can't get that. gummy anymore. I think it's gone though. Probably it's, it was kind of tasty. I think we brought it over there and let people all drink it. <laughs> Looks like Madras. It does. Now next time we go somewhere, we'll just bring the gin. Looks a lot like Madras. <laughs> Let me go bring one over to Jen. Now, I'm gonna put this here so she can take. Well, she has to take a photo anyway, so it's not. Uh, yeah. Oh well, I'll put it where she yeah, has I can to reach it. <laughs> get it. Where I have to. If you don't take a photo, there. then you don't get it. Exactly. Risk, um, benefit, reward. Yeah. A action, reward. That's right. Positive reinforcement. That's the word I was trying to Oh, I, I have no, <laughs> no clue what the hell you were talking about. I can figure out what you're talking about. Why can't you figure out what I'm talking about? <laughs> well, I was standing here and you just started saying words. You don't, you don't even care. <laughs> it's like you don't even care. No. Bazooka no, has no. blue carousel and something else. No bubblegum. No, bazooka was just bazooka. I like those little, and they had like the three little... Little slots in the bazooka gum. I don't know what that was for. Does this thing light? No. Why would it light? Oh, because it's got 151 in it? It's been watered down. Yeah, it's been Yeah, it's cold. Yeah. There's lots of reasons There's why that there. science isn't going to play. That's true. Alright, we're going to drink this right. shit. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, One, two, three. three. That's my dry Prost. 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 Ooh. Oh, weird. Oh! Wow. It's actually kind of pleasant. That is kind of pleasant. I got a little bit of burn in the back. Well, yeah. Little but it's pleasant. Back burnt, but the taste is pleasant. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, what the grenadine, grenadine and the coconut? Yeah. Oh. Are you starting? Nice. Uh, yeah, it was a nice little bit. Uh, mm. It has a little, I almost has I, a bubblegum flavor to it. I could do this. <laughs> Jen I could, could do, do this. that too many times. That's a, no, yeah, this, I, that's I, a would, serious problem. I have another night like Wednesday night. But I mean, get, the yeah, nice yeah. thing about this is we get use a 21% alcohol coconut rum. And then you offset that with a 151. Offset with a 151, so it's not a terribly potent drink. It has, the thing is it has fire, but it doesn't have alcohol. Like it has like a, you know how like sometimes yeah. you get with with alcohol you get a little bit of a sour flavor like to it. Yeah. It almost fires off like sour senses. I get like that sour like strong. You get a little puckeriness I, out of it. I get a lot of sweetness out of it. Personally. There was there was definitely some grenadine flavor. Well, you you got the coconut in there. 
it, it just doesn't mask the 151. 151's hard to mask. Mm. It's like, it is, yeah. if you put a pillow on your chest and somebody falcon punches you, it's still gonna hurt. Not as much. Right, well, I mean, when, when we're in Muay Thai class, for instance, we hold kick shields so that it doesn't uh, hurt as and, much. And then you get those but people who kick hurts. you across the room, right? Yeah. Like, and you're yeah, like, you hold for leg kicks, and some people still bruise your legs through the yeah, shield. Yeah, they go yeah. right through. Like, it's, it's, an, yeah, it's, anyway. it dulls it down, <laughs> but it's still gonna friggin' hurt. Yes. Bruises all over your face hole. It, it, to, to use, to, to tie it back. Um, I have a question for people. Do you guys have a, a video game shooter that you'd like us to do on the show? Because Or a pop I'm, culture shooter? Like yeah, kind of or popular culture. culture. I want to create, and this might be me. You guys can say if this would be cool or if, it, if you don't care. But I wanted to create some Zelda theme because Zelda's the game I like oh, to play. Zelda was a great game. Back in the day, I remember when the Nintendo Power came out with all the yeah. Oh, with the map? Out, the Legend it's of Zelda. Three. Oh, yeah. We used to bomb. Every, me and Doug would bomb every single time. Everything. To Back in the day. Oh. That, that was like the key. We bombed every tile, and you get that, and you're like, oh, here's everything. Yes. The whole thing mapped out for you. <laughs> here's where you bomb. That, it, that was back when you didn't have all the spoilers available to you at the touch of a button. Yeah, that's true. You, had, you, had, to like, you, you had to explore the game yourself, and it was really fun. Right, and it, then you get to the second world, and all those, the map doesn't help you. Yeah. But, yeah, exactly, yeah. Because I had this that's dream. Fire, no, yeah. it wasn't that type of dream. I had... Sure. My stomach is on fire. Oh, yeah, your stomach is definitely warm. I had curls. this. I, I, I am a, a top contributor in, in one of the YouTube community forums, and there's a, I found a lot of people who do those Let's Play videos. Like, it's just yeah. like people just play video games and right. like put it on the internet. Right? And I'm like, and I watch these guys, and I'm like, they're like, I don't understand why my, my followers aren't watching the show. I don't understand how come I can't get subscribers. I'm like, because your content sucks. Yeah. Like, I don't want to say that. Some people but have a sucks. lot of subscribers for them just playing games and talking over their beauty pie. So I, I'm sitting in bed going, you know what I want to do just to to show them? Is I wanted to make I could I know you know what? There's no point, I don't have to worry about ruining this idea. I wanted to make a channel that's let's play or whatever that's classic. Like me yeah, and, and people playing Zelda. Street like, Fighter. All the way through. Street Fighter 2, back in the day. Yeah, but like, how do you actually get those to be on a TV nowadays? But, but Mike, uh, nah, it's not hard. You just use an emulator. But you uh, know, when you yeah. capture it, and I'm like, oh, I, I was already thought through this. I'm like, I need an emulator that can capture it to the video, bring the video in, synchronize the audio, oh. layer it, put I'll a camera. Your, I'll be your P2, buddy. Dude, I, I think it would be a good, uh, like, I think we could pull that off. Like, yeah. and go through all the classics. Like, here's how to beat every level in The Legend of Zelda. And you know what? Fuck that. We'll play Link. Like Zelda no. 2. Oh, I actually like that. For I did too. It was a good game. And play through that and then play and then go through the, like all the Super Mario Brothers. Mm -hmm. Like just. Oh, yeah. Oh, basically commentating over like all these Let's Play people do. Mm. But we're funny Fox, right? And then just go. Oh, we think so. Right? It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Wait, well, you got to have the cameras and shit. And then just play in the games. And I think that I could make a. Kid Icarus. Oh god, that's hard. I love that game. <laughs> and I, I think I could, we could, you could build an entire Danny, channel around that. Danny says you guys could base some shooters on the three crystals from Ocarina of Time. Oh yeah, Ocarina of Time. That was was that, that was, a Game Boy that game? Was, no, Ocarina of Time was uh, the I played last an Ocarina game on Game Boy. That was GameCube, the like the last game. On I game played Boy. one on Game Boy. I remember. I, I, there oh, the, oh, there was a couple of good, like the later ones. Yeah, there was an Ocarina yeah. game on Game Boy. Yeah, they 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 used Ocarina as much as they could. Speed runs are where it's at. Watch his Zelda speed run, and your mind will be destroyed. <laughs> I, I see. That's the thing is that's a completely different idea. Like my idea yeah. would be, to let's just have fun play. Have fun. Yeah. Show people like the game. You would. There's 14 year old kids out there that have never seen the original Zelda. I, they're missing. That out would have so much history. But like combination of personality and, and video graphics, games. Though. No. No, but the the personality against these retro games that can you can never reproduce. Nobody seems to be doing that. Everybody wants to make goddamn fucking Minecraft. GameCube first game. So was sick Majora's of it. Mask. Yeah, Majora's oh. Mask. I was the other. Didn't really care for that one. Um, but like going retro, stop the Minecraft bullshit or the I'm gonna play these stupid games that nobody ever wants to play that are completely a waste of time. Unless of course you already do a Minecraft that's popular. Right. Yeah, there's like five. We don't, I don't, I'm not thinking popular on Rose. I just think I could take a, a, a standard Let's Play classic retro game style and bring it and, and actually get subscribers where these guys are like, I don't understand why this doesn't work. I'm like, because you just spent four minutes talking about how you configure the sound in the game. No one cares. They just want to see you play it. If for some reason, they want to see you play it. <laughs> I, know, I, that's, I don't even understand, but I think I can pull it off. Yes. I'm just saying. That's all right. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. That's... I, I never had a Sony. Altered Beast. 
dude, I, I've only played in the arcade. Or like, uh, yeah, yeah. Or, uh, Golden Axe, all those great old games. Golden Axe, I played, bo go no, uh, Gauntlet. Gauntlet, oh boy, that's talking about challenging. Gauntlet. Four, dude, you can do a reality show around four player Gauntlet. <laughs> Okay, yeah. everybody sitting there, four cameras down at the bottom. Please do, Zelda's my favorite. Just imagine that, Gauntlet with four cameras down at the bottom of the screen, and all four players, they've all got to be like, well, you know what, you need three. Super Smash TV, you remember Three that? guys and one girl, just because. you got to mix it up, you got to have some. You have game. to have the woman who doesn't know what she's playing, because she wasn't into it back then. Contra, yes. Now, oh, she's actually I, that, that is my game, yeah. I love That's such a great Contra. game. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, B, A, start. Yep. I, I even had, I, I, I got it on one of his mobile things oh, yeah. to play Contra a little while. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty good. I love me. Oh, what a journey down every lane. Just saying, that is anyway. that is the direction that, see, and That's I'm not dream. worried about say, saying it because nobody that watches is ever going to execute on that idea. It would only be me. People just, it's a lot of work. It it's is a lot, lot of work, work just because you got to get all those games running. You need a platform to get them right I would on. think an emulator with a couple of the original NES controllers. You can get NES controllers, USB NES controllers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, it's cool. No problem. Madden. Madden. That's max advantage. Battletoads are so hard. Nice one. <laughs> uh, that's it, my friends. Yeah. Go make yourself a shooter called the Falcon Punch. Submit to me your ideas for uh, video game themed shooters. I think video game themed shooters would be better than video game themed cocktails. Yes. Because yeah. shooters... Because we tend to go with the craft cocktail. And, and a shooter is like, anything goes. It's the Wild West. Nobody cares. Yeah. It doesn't matter how bad it is because it's it's Ooh. just like getting a, a flu shot. Ian would be all over that. M MTG videos play videos. Magic the Gathering? Play videos. Hmm. Magic the Gathering. That? We, we could do that. We could do that. We could. Yeah. It would. Yeah, no, it would probably be. We can make it fun, but it would be mo much more challenging. We could than be like uh, Raj Kutrapali. I don't know if we could be like. Tree that. of Doom, <laughs> walking tree. Taking a stroll, I'm sporting some wood. <laughs> <laughs> you guys gotta watch Big Bang Theory. It's the best show on TV ever. Yeah, great show. We're good. <laughs> yeah. Finish him. Finish. All right. Finish We're it. Teaching you how to drink. Today we're making the. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's dry. It is dry. It's almost like a cross between a martini and a Manhattan, like a, a, a vodka martini and a Manhattan, where mm. there's a little bit of sweetness. Yeah, like but it has Manhattan, more flavor. But there's more dryness, like the uh, the martini. But it meets somewhere in the middle.